Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to secure documents using Power Automate. So without wasting any further time, let's first understand the use case and then build the solution. So the users or the end users will upload the documents in the secure document document library. The documents should be secured with an owner password. If it's a PDF, some restrictions need to be applied and then the final document should be saved in the documents document library. Now that we understand the use case, let's create the solution using Power Automate. So here I am in my Power Automate and I'll click on create a new flow. I'll create an automated flow and I'll skip the trigger for now. The source is SharePoint, so I'm going to search for the SharePoint trigger, so SharePoint. And under SharePoint, I'm going to select when a file is created or modified properties only. So whenever a file is created or it's modified, it should be secured and the final document should be in the documents document library. I will select the site and I select the library that is the source library, so it's going to be secure demo. Next, what I want to do is I want to get the file content. So I'll again select SharePoint and here I need the file content. I'll again select the site and I'll pass it the identifier. Identify is the output of the trigger when a file is created or modified only. Next is where the real magic happens. We are going to secure the document. So I'm going to use the Muhimbi connector and I'm going to type in secure. So here my friends, I need to pass first the file content. Perfect, I need to pass in the file name. So file name will be file name with extension. I can give it an open password, we will look at the open password demo later but first let's understand the owner password the owner password is not prompted when the file is opened however the open password is prompted when the file is opened now in a particular use case we don't want the users to be prompted for a password when the file is opened so in that case we will not specify an open password however we will specify an owner password I would also say that if you are going to pass both open and owner password, the passwords should not be the same. So I will go and set up a password. Let's say it's easy, one, two, three, four, five. And here, my friends, I can add restrictions and very, very important. The restrictions do not apply to DOCX, that is Word, XLSX, that is Excel, and PPTX, that is PowerPoint documents. The restrictions are only applied to PDF. That is why it is said to be PDF restrictions. So the restrictions that I'm going to apply is printing. It should not be printed. There should not be high resolution printing as well. Content copying should be restricted. The end user or the person who opens the document should not be able to add annotations or form fields. So that's pretty much it. And then the final stage would be to create the file back in SharePoint. So I'll type in SharePoint and I'll type in create. So create file and we need to write the file back in the documents folder. So shared documents, the file name would be file name with extension and the file content would be the processed file content, which is the output of the secure document action. I'll give my Power Automate a name, I'll save my flow and I'll test my flow. So let's start with the PDF first. Okay, so first I'll go ahead and upload a PDF document and that should trigger my Power Automate. So let's wait. If you see my flow is running. So understand this, in this particular use case, we have not applied an open password. We have applied an owner password. So let me quickly refresh this and let me try to download this document. Okay, so download and let me open this file in a PDF reader. So you first and foremost see that 
there's a lock. So the document is secured. Secondly, you will see that the printing is grayed out. This is a PDF, so printing is grayed out. Similarly, if I go into the properties and look at the security, here my friends, printing is not allowed, changing the document is not allowed, document assembly is not allowed, content copying is not allowed, signing is not allowed, commenting is not allowed. So we have applied restrictions successfully to the PDF document. Understand this, it's not an open password, it's a owner password. That's why it has not prompted for the credentials. So let's upload few other documents. Let me quickly edit my flow and test my flow again. And let's actually look at the behavior of few other document types. So I'll drag and drop few documents in here and the files have been uploaded and my flow is running. Perfect. So my flow has completed successfully and the files are available in the destination. So let me download these files one by one and let me show you the behavior of the secure document. So let's start with the XLSX. So if you see when I try to change something, it cannot be changed because we have applied an owner password and editing is restricted for the Excel document. Similarly, let me download the PowerPoint document as well and let me open it. And if I try to enable editing, it's prompting for the password. That's awesome. And finally, the word document. If I try to enable editing, and if I try to edit something, it tells me, sorry, restriction is being applied and you do not have permissions. So here, my friends, you have applied security successfully to the documents. Now, before we get into now, we look at now we look at another use case. So I have deleted the documents from the de destination and I'll also delete the documents from the source. Next, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and modify my power automate a little. So let me modify it. And this time we are going to apply an open password as well. So let's look at the behavior when you apply an open password. So let me save my flow and let me test my flow. Let me upload the documents. So I'll just drag and drop these documents into a document library and let's look at the behavior of the documents. So the documents are getting uploaded and my power automate should be triggered. Perfect. So my flow has ran successfully. If I go back into my destination, you see the files are crea created. So if I try to open the PDF in the browser, here my friends, it is prompting for a password. Similarly, if I try to download or open in the browser, it's prompting for password for the Word document. Similarly, if I go ahead and open in browser the PowerPoint and open in browser the Excel, here you see it's prompting for a password because, because we have secured it using an open password. So here my friends, you have successfully secured documents using Power Automate. I hope this demo was informative. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.